Okay, so today's short lesson involves naming other types of alkanes. The alkanes we're going to deal with are alkanes that have extra carbon groups attached to them. Now, we've already dealt with alkanes that have carbons uh, with uh, chlorines and bromines and iodines attached to them, but we never talked about what happens if you add other carbons to the chain. And what I'm talking about is stuff that we've seen before. Hydrocarbons that have carbons that are not part of the main group. When we first did this, you guys were supposed to find the longest hydrocarbon chain. And if you did that in this case, if you happen to start this way, you could get five carbons in a row here. But you can't get this carbon in the row, whether you go this way or this way. There's going to be one carbon that's going to be left off of this. So it's five carbons, and the, the way I've decided to draw the chain in this case is that way. So there's a one carbon group that's not attached to this. And there's my one carbon group. Now, if this were a chlorine, you would say there's a chloral group attached. And you would count from this end because it's closest to this end. There's one, there's two. You would say this is a two-chloral group right here because it's on the second chlorine. But it's not a chlorine. It's a carbon group. So what do you call carbon groups? Well, if you go back to when we first presented alkanes, go get those notes. Go look at the first column where it says group. See what you come up with for a one carbon group. Did you find it? A one carbon group is actually called a methyl group. Really quick, what's the difference between methane and a methyl group? Well, methane is an alkane where everything is all filled up. But a methyl group has one of its bonding sites open. And that spot right there, that's where we can plug this into a chain someplace. So if it's got all the hydrogens, it's an alkane. If one's missing, it's a group, in this case, a methyl group. So now let's treat this just like we would a chloral group. Again, since it's on the second carbon, we would call this, start with the back end, there's one, two, three, four, five carbons. So it's pentane with a methyl group on carbon number two. So this is 2-methylpentane. Okay, so it's following the same rules, except instead of chloral and bromo and whatnot, we've got methyl in this case. Now, take a look at my next one. This one down here, where's the longest hydrocarbon chain? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can get six carbons going this way, so that's got to be the main chain right there. So, with six carbons, we know the base name. Six is hex. So, it's hexane. But now attached to the hexane is this down here, this group down here. It's not a one carbon group, it's a carbon and another carbon. It's a two carbon group attached to the main chain. Well, a one carbon group is methyl, a two carbon group would be, think about it, it's an ethyl group. And where is this ethyl group? Is the ethyl group starting on carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, or carbon 1, 2, 3? It should be on carbon 1, 2, 3, so this should be 3-ethylhexane. So you see, we're just treating these the same way that we treated the other ones. Here's some practice for you. What I want you to do is go through these three problems. See if you can name this one. Pause the tape. See if you can name this thing. Okay, so what we've got here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons in a row. This carbon, this end carbon, is not a methyl group. It's actually part of the main chain. That's one thing a lot of people are going to miss. So there's seven carbons in a row, and then there's this one carbon group attached to it. So those seven carbons all together make up heptane. And then a one carbon group, where is it? One, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. Oh, it doesn't really matter where we number it from. Since it's on 4, you would say 4-methylheptane. Our second one, a little bit more confusing. 
Stop for a second, see if you can name this thing, and then go on. Okay, so longest hydrocarbon chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. So six is going to be our longest one. I'm going to pick these six here as my main chain. And six carbons, of course, is called hexane. Now here's the tricky part. Do you notice that we've got a one carbon group here and a separate one carbon group here? Those, that's not an ethyl group because the two carbons aren't attached to each other. If you go back and look at the ethyl group, you'd see that it was two carbons and five hydrogens all attached together. In this case, it's a one carbon group and another one carbon group. So there's a methyl, there's a methyl. And when you have two of something, what do you call it? Dimethyl. There's a methyl group there and a methyl group there, so it is dimethyl. And the methyls are more towards this part of the hydrocarbon. So that should be carbon number one. There's a methyl on carbon two. There's a methyl on carbon three. Two, three, dimethyl hexane. Our last one. See how tricky I can get here. This is a pretty tricky one. See if you can figure this out. What helps is if you actually draw a line or circle all the carbons in the main chain, because that way you know you've named all those things. So go ahead, try this one. Did you try it? Okay, let's see what you got. I've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can get six carbons in a row. I'm going to pick the easy six carbons in a row. These guys right here. There you go. Six carbons, hexane. Those are done. Now, what I have attached here is a one carbon group. That's a methyl. And then a two carbon group down here. That's an ethyl. See, the two carbons aren't, the two groups aren't attached to each other. They're attached to the main chain. But there's a group on top and there's a group on the bottom. So we have a methyl group and we have an ethyl group. Now, alphabetically, ethyls come in first. Where, are, where is the ethyl group? Well, it looks like it's closer, one, two, three. It looks like it's not a third carbon, otherwise it would be one, two, three, four. Well, this is a fourth carbon. So it's a third carbon. So there's an ethyl on three, and then there's also a methyl on three. So you would call this three ethyl, three methyl hexane. You see how each group gets its own number? You don't say three ethyl methyl hexane. 3-ethyl and 3-methyl hexane. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, what if I didn't pick the same path that, that I did originally? What if I took a different six carbons? Because you could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Watch what happens if you make this your main chain. Six carbons, so it's still hexane. What have we attached to our hexane? We've got a one carbon group and we've got a two carbon group. So we have an ethyl group and we have a methyl group. Ethyl comes before methyl. Where are these groups? Well, they're either on carbon one, two, three, that's attached to three and that's attached to three, or one, two, three, four. So we picked a shorter number, making that carbon three. So we have an ethyl on three and a methyl on three, and that's going to be three ethyl, three methyl hexane, which is the exact same name we got before. In short, it doesn't matter which carbons you pick for your main chain as long as it's the most carbons, because as long as you get the most carbons, no matter which ones you pick, you always end up with the same name. Okay, how about a nice big confusing one for D? Look at all the carbons and hydrogens. But again, the longest hydrocarbon chain, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 is the most carbons I can get in a row. It's, it's not going to matter whether I go down or straight across. I'm going to take the easy way. All of those carbons make my octane. So what's attached to the octane? Well, you can see off of this carbon, there's a methyl group. And off of this carbon, see that carbon doesn't count as part of the main chain. We have one, two, three. Most elephants prefer. That's a propyl group. Methyl group, propyl group. 
carbon 2 for the methyl, 3, 4, 5 for the propyl. To methyl 5 propyl octane. And methyl comes before propyl not because of the 2, but because M typically comes before P in most alphabets I've seen. So alphabetically, methyl always comes before propyl no matter where they're located. Okay, what you might have noticed in those last couple of examples was there's a lot of hydrogens floating around and they were kind of getting in the way. So we've come up with what's called a shortened structural formula or a condensed structural formula in order to make it a little easier to look at some of these more complicated hydrocarbons. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the carbons in the main chain, then write what's attached to them. So instead of actually drawing a full structural formula showing the H's coming off of each carbon, we're going to kind of push them together. So in other words, what you're going to see is something like this. This is a pure structural formula, all the hydrogens coming off. And we're just going to start at one end, carbon number one, and we're going to write what's attached to this carbon. So this carbon right here has three hydrogens on it. So we're going to write CH3. And then next to it, we're going to write what's attached to the second carbon. Two hydrogens. So then we get CH2. See if you can finish this. Third carbon, two hydrogens, CH2. Last carbon, three hydrogens, CH3. Now, you might be looking at this and saying, well, yeah, that's a little bit nicer than this. And it is. It's a whole lot easier to type this than it is to write this out. But watch how easy it becomes when we start talking about really complicated hydrocarbons. Think about something hard like this. Okay, we've got carbons coming off all over the place. Now, since our methyl groups are closest to this carbon over here, that's carbon number one. So I'm going to start with that guy right there. So the first carbon has three H's attached to it. So I'm going to write CH3. The next carbon has an H attached to it. So I'm going to write CH. But then up top, there's a carbon with three hydrogens. So up top, I'm going to write CH3. So this carbon still has its four bonding sites, one to the hydrogen, one to this carbon, one to that carbon, and one to the next carbon. But it can only have space for one more hydrogen, which is why it's just CH. And now we can see that methyl group coming off the top. The next carbon has got a C and an H and a methyl group down below. So we're going to write CH, and then down here, we're going to put our methyl group. And then it's pretty easy. You've got C with two H's, you've got C with two H's, and you've got C with three H's. And you got to admit that this looks a whole lot easier to look at than this. You can easily see a methyl group here and a methyl group here. So a lot of times on the complex hydrocarbons, we're going to be writing them this way. And I say we, as in the people who are presenting this stuff to you, you're not going to have to worry about writing these. You have to worry about reading these. When I ask for a structural formula, I want to see this. I don't want to see this. But if I present you with this, you should be able to tell me what it is. Let's take a look. So, okay, let's do some practice. Now, again, the big thing you guys have to do is I show you the compounds and you name them. Here's some compounds. Take a look at the first one. See if you can come up with a name for it. So this first one's got a trick to it. Some people look at this and go, look, there's a methyl group there, and there's a methyl group there on this carbon chain. But if you remember, the longest carbon chain can twist and turn and include that one up there. So really, those carbons there, that, that group is not a methyl group. It's, part, it's carbon number one of the chain. So all of those carbons belong together. One, two, three, four, five, six carbons. Six carbons, hexane. And you've got a one carbon group attached to that carbon, which is either one, two, three, four, or better yet, one, two, three. So there's a methyl group attached to the third carbon of a six carbon chain, three methyl hexane. B is a little bit more obvious. 
one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. The longest chain is going to be the one right down the middle here. You notice that carbon right there has no hydrogens on it because it's bonded there, 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 and there. It doesn't have room for hydrogens. That's why it's just a C all by itself. So for this one, we've got five carbons, so it's a pentane, and there's a methyl group on top and a methyl group on the bottom, and they're both on one, two, three. So two methyls, dimethyl, but since there's two, you got to have two numbers. Did you come up with three, three dimethyl pentane? Try our last one. Try C. Let's even come up with a name for this one. This one seems even more straightforward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And remember now, it doesn't matter which seven we pick, we're going to end up with the same name. So I'm going to pick these seven across here, seven carbons with a three carbon group. Seven, heptane, three carbon group, propane. Where is my propane? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's on the fourth carbon. We've got four propyl heptane. So that's all the new stuff we're going to cover today. What we're going to do now is we're going to practice drawing these things both as structural formulas and shortened structural formulas, but I got kind of a different way of doing it. You can either grab the model kits, and using the model kits, you could build. 1,1-dichloroethane, and then draw 1,1-dichloroethane here. Then draw it as a structural formula. A structural formula, straight line, straight lines up and down. This thing is not going to be that pretty. This thing is not going to be nice, neat, and straight lines. Do the same thing with 2,3-dibromopentane, but then for this one, this one, and this one, I want you to draw it as the structural formula with all the hydrogens coming off, and then show me that condensed formula that we just learned. It's a little hard to do it for these guys here, so skip these two here. But for these, I want the picture of the model. I want the structural formula with the lines and the hydrogens all straight up, up and down. And then I want the condensed formula here. Now, I've got a slightly different way. You can either use the model kits to build these if you're comfortable with that. But I found a website that's this site right here. And I want to show you how this one works. So here's what the website looks like. This is just a model that was up there from before. And what we're going to do is uh, let's make some carbons. Let's, let's make a three carbon chain. Let's say that you have to draw carbon to carbon to carbon. Then you take the single bond thing up here and watch. You go from here to there, from there to there. And then let's put another carbon group on top here and attach it with a single bond. Now, if you push this button here, it's going to put all the rest of the hydrogens in for you. There you go. Double click. I got all the rest of the hydrogens. Then if you push this, this is more like the structural formula. This over here, this is the picture you've got to draw. You see, you can twist it any way you want, but it's, it's kind of messy. It's not nice straight lines anymore. It's all kind of all over the place here. So that's what I want you to do. You can either use the model kits and then draw it like this. Or you can use this right here and draw it like this. This ends up being more of a structural formula. This ends up being the picture. And then you will also do the condensed formula for this. So give it a try. Either way, on the back, there's a bunch more questions for you. And I'll be in tomorrow, and we'll answer any other questions from the homework from last class and the homework from this class. Have a good day.